Hey there everyone, it's me, Pastor Doug, here with another lesson from the Bible. Today, we're going to be talking about how we guard our hearts. Now, you might be thinking, guard our hearts, uh, isn't that what my rib bones are for? And yes, you would be right. Our rib cage does certainly protect uh, our heart and lots of other important organs in our body. But the Bible says that we have to protect our heart in a different sort of way. And that is what we're going to be talking about. Let's take a look at our main point. I will guard my heart. Say that with me, ready? I will guard my heart. Good job. Parents, teachers, don't forget to like and subscribe to our videos, but also to go to faithfilled.com where you can download free resources and activities for this lesson. But the greatest resource is the Holy Spirit, so be sure when you're teaching your kids to ask for His help first. All right, everyone, let's get started. Here, I'm trying to remember this stuff. Hey, Doug, what you doing? Oh, hey, Dusty. Yeah, I'm just putting all this stuff in the box. You see, the church is trying to raise money for a new roof, so they're having a rummage sale. Everyone's going through their old things to donate. Oh, I see. And the things that they give will be sold to help pay for the church roof, huh? Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, I thought so, too. Can you pass me that toy? This one? Here you go. Thanks. Good boy, Dusty. Wow, so this is all our old stuff, huh? Well, I don't think I've even seen some of these things before. <laughs> yeah, I know. Can you believe it? This was all just sitting in storage. It makes me feel good that it's finally going to be put to some, you know, good use. Hey, you know what? There's still a whole nother section of the garage that I haven't cleaned out yet. So why don't I leave this box to you and I'll go work on another one. Stuff in the box. Got it. Stuff in the box. Stuff in the box. Huh? What do we have here? It is! It is! Oh! Oh! I got it! I got it! The best ball ever! What? Doug! Doug! Can you smell this ball? It's amazing! It's like new! I've never even seen a ball this good before! Oh! Wait a minute! Doug said all this stuff has to go back to the church! That means... No ball for Dusty! No, I can't give this ball away. I just found it. It's so amazing. It smells so good, so fresh. It's like new. Oh, I love this ball. Mm, I can't give it away. Mm, ball. Oh, my precious ball. Okay, Dusty, finish with my box. So uh, it's time to take all this stuff to the church now. Grr, grr, grr. Whoa, Dusty, what's gotten into you? You can't have it. It's mine. It's my precious. Dusty, Dusty. Oh, I think I got some fuzz in my mouth. Dusty, it's just a ball. It is not just a ball. And who says we have to give our stuff away anyway? I don't want to give our stuff away. I'm taking it. Ow! Whoa! What happened there? Kids, I'm sorry you had to see that. I do not know what has gotten into Dusty. 
I'm gonna have to clean some of this stuff up and I guess take these boxes myself and then go talk to Dusty. Why don't you check out our Bible story in the meantime? Now it's time for Do You Digit? Correctly answer this qualitative query to win, but make sure you answer before the timer runs out. Count the tennis balls to win. Ready? Go! If you said 14, you're correct! Now let's get back to the show. He's too strong. <laughs> oh, hi there. Do you know anyone who's really strong? In the Bible, there's someone by the name of Samson who was incredibly strong. He was blessed with super strength from the Holy Spirit. You can read this story in the book of Judges, chapters 13 to 16. You see, many years had passed since the Israelites were living in the Promised Land. And things were going so well that they eventually forgot about God and started worshiping other gods and other idols, just like the nations around them. So God handed them over to their enemies, in this case, the Philistines. The Philistines were strong and had a good army. They were able to capture Israel, all the things that they had, food, money, even their homes. Ah, uh -huh, all your money. Yeah, give us their homes too. Out of the way. Well, the people of Israel were in big trouble, so they prayed and cried out to God to help them. Oh, I'm so poor. I'm so hungry. They took my house. Where am I going to sleep? God, help us. There is. I forgot my apple. Grr. Well, God heard their prayers, and he came to their rescue. He had mercy on them. This is Manoah, and this is his wife. One night, an angel came to Manoah and his wife and said, even though you have been unable to have children, you will soon become pregnant and give birth to a son. If your son lives a holy life, he will have God's strength. Soon after, Manoah's wife gave birth to a son and named him Samson. The Spirit was upon Samson to make him so strong. In fact, he didn't need an army or anyone else's help to save Israel from the Philistines. He did it all with the strength of the Spirit. How do you get so strong? He's so big and scary. I can't stand Samson. Oh no! They needed to figure out the secret of Samson's strength. Well, one day, Samson fell in love with a woman named Delilah. Oh, Delilah, I bet you'd never betray me. You seem a bit sleepy. Why don't you have a nap? And when the Philistines heard about it, they contacted Delilah and met with her in secret. And they promised to give her lots of money if she could trick Samson into explaining the secret of his strength. Where is she? Our quarter said she was coming. She is coming. Oh, here she is. Yes, you called for me. Right, take this money. Find the secret of Samson's string for us. I'm going to be so rich. <laughs> well, Delilah begged Samson to tell her the secret. Samson, oh Samson, just out of curiosity, what's the secret of your strength? Oh, not this again. Tell me, tell me. I'm going to hold my breath until you tell me. Okay. Do you love me? Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. After tell me, tell days, me, tell me. Samson couldn't take it. Okay, fine. I must never cut my hair. Cut your hair, huh? How about another little nap? I think I have some scissors around here somewhere. Now. That night, as Samson slept, Delilah snuck up and cut his hair. Then she called the Philistines over to capture him. Come in. His strength is gone. Go ahead. We got him this time. 
Hey, Dad, take this. Hey, what? Where'd my strength go? He was too weak to resist because he had broken his promise. What have I done? The Philistines brought Samson out before a great crowd of rulers and thousands of people gathered at the temple in Philistine to watch as they wrapped Samson up. We didn't get him there. We got him now, boys. But Samson prayed one more time. Lord, give me this strength just one more time. And he pushed with all of his might until he brought down the entire temple, destroying everyone who was there, including himself. Samson was not guarding his heart. He thought that he could continually sin without any consequence. And Delilah eventually took advantage of that. When Samson broke his holy vow, he lost his strength. You know, we can live holy lives too, guarding our hearts, knowing that what we watch, what we listen to, the things that we do might not all be a, a good idea. In fact, we can be letting things in that are going to take us down the wrong path, lead us away from God's blessing. So obey God. Do your best to follow his ways and know that God will be with you. It's time to play Picture Pixel Puzzle. Guess the picture before it comes into focus to win. 10 seconds on the clock, go. If you said scissors, you're correct. This is an ancient pair of scissors, perhaps similar to what Delilah would have used to cut Samson's long hair. Good job, everyone. Now let's get back to the lesson. Ah, hello there, Dusty. I'm on my way to the church rubbish sale. <laughs> oh, nice ball. Uh, oh. Uh, oh, Dusty, uh, what is wrong with you? Uh, 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 don't worry, Paul. I won't let them take you. Not for a thousand church roofs. Dusty, where are you? Dusty, where are... Aha, there you are. Uh, uh, now, Dusty, you cut that out. Uh, Dusty, it's that ball, isn't it? You give me that ball. Drop it. Drop. Give me the ball, Dusty. Uh, Dusty, drop the ball. Drop it. Give me the... Uh, 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 Dusty, this ball, uh, this ball's making you do crazy things. It is? Like what? Like what? Like, uh, how about knocking over all the things for the rummage sale? Uh, how about running away? How about growling at people? I, I growled at people? Yeah, you did. Oh, I barely even remember doing that. I think, I think I was just so focused on the ball that I wasn't thinking about anything else. You know, Dusty, your actions were wrong. There's no doubt about that. But it's not just that. It's that I'm concerned for you. Is this ball so important that you would forget about your, your loyalty, your friendship? Oh, Doug. Oh, Doug, what have I done? What's happened is you've become so focused on this ball that it's made you forget about, you know, even who you are and, and, and how you should be behaving. You know, the Bible tells us that we need to be careful and we need to guard our hearts. Guarding my heart? You know, the desires of our hearts can sometimes lead us closer to God, good desires, but they can also lead us farther from God. And that is why we have to guard our hearts. You know, if we allow our hearts to become corrupted and we start getting greedy, selfish, prideful, any of those things, well, we're not going to be very useful to God. And we're supposed to be his hands and his feet. I don't even know why that little ball became so important to me. It's just a toy. Doug, I'm sorry. Do you think you could forgive me? Of course I forgive you, Dusty. And I'm sure that other people will forgive you too when you ask them. Oh, I will. I will. Oh, and I think maybe I shouldn't have that ball. You know, maybe uh, we should just give it to the church rummage sale. That's a good idea. Pals again? Pals. That's a good boy. Uh, now, um, 
Let's see, there is uh, one more thing you could help me with. Sure, anything. I think it's time to do our Bible verse, so you know what that means. <gasps> it's dance time! That's right. Go get your Bible, go get your Bible, go get your Bible. Okay, take it away, trusty. Thanks, Doug. Our Bible verse today can be found in Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23. Let's look it up together. To find the book of Proverbs, we need to go to the Old Testament. Then we look for the big number 4 and the little number 23. It says, above everything else, guard your heart, for everything you do comes from it. These words of wisdom from King Solomon remind us that our actions come from deeper inside of us. The Bible calls this our heart. If we keep our heart pure, focused on what is good, noble, right, and godly, then our actions will be pure. But if we allow our heart to be led astray, we will make poor choices and our actions will hurt ourselves and others. Let's be careful to guard our hearts. The best way to do this is to follow Jesus. When we make a mistake, we can ask Jesus to forgive us we can ask Jesus to give us a clean heart that follows him. I decided Thanks for helping me get rid of that ball, Doug. It was only causing trouble. Yeah, no problem, Dusty. You know, the Bible says that even our own hearts can deceive us sometimes. That's Jeremiah 17, 9, which is why it's so important for us to have godly friends around us and for us to ask for Jesus' help all the time. Huh. Do you think I should get rid of the rest of my toys, too? No, I don't think so. There's nothing wrong with enjoying toys or having fun. In fact, these are things that God wants us to do. But we always need to be careful about what's going on in our hearts. 
we can ask ourselves this simple question. Is the desire that I have drawing me closer to God or taking me farther away? Oh, yeah, that is a good question. I'll try and remember that one. <laughs> yeah, and so will I. All right, everyone, it's what you've been waiting for. Quizzical Questions with your host, Dane Show Doug. Answer a question from today's Bible story to win. Here it comes. Samson was set apart from birth to be a Nazarite and live a holy life. The angel of God commanded that he must never A. Wear sandals B. Cut his hair C. Ride a horse or D. Eat pineapple on pizza Um, this is a trick song. I know it's not A for sure. B. Cut his hair That's correct! Thanks for playing Quizzical Questions with your host, Game Show Doug. Now let's get back to the lesson. All right, everyone, thanks so much for watching. I hope that you learned something today and that you can guard your heart. Why don't we pray to close? Bow your heads with me. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this lesson on Samson. Would you help us to guard our heart? Jesus, help us every day to ask this question, are our desires bringing us closer or further from you? We pray these things in Jesus' name, and everyone said, Amen. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye!